morning, what's up guys? This is your favorite Cubic Coach here. So this is the course log over at Arrowwood Golf Course. Uh, it's in Oceanside, California. If you're in North County, San Diego, definitely go give it a look. It's a beautiful course. Challenging layout. Uh, today, currently, it was blowing like 25, 30 mile per hour winds. Definitely playing really tough. Uh, this first hole is around 390 yard par four. Pretty straightaway hole. Uh, you can miss left all day. So I'm taking this one up the middle. I'm trying to hit like a nice little kind of straight ball and then let the wind take it back a little bit left. So let's see how I do. So I definitely missed that one over to the left. Uh, I started down the left fairway and then it kind of hooked back um, to the middle of like basically yep. hole number 10. So a pretty big miss here, but I mean, if you're gonna miss, like I said, miss left, I have a wide open shot at the green. I have around 80 yards to the pin. So I'm hitting a gap which here. I was trying to kind of flight that, but still get it over the trees. I did have some trees out in front of me and it kind of just upshooted in the wind. So it came up a little short, but uh, I had a relatively easy chip. So probably around like a 25 yard little pitch shot slash chip. I'm trying to land this kind of on the green with a little bit of hook spin. Cause whenever I'm off these tight lies, I, if I try to get, um, if I try to hit a spinner off these lies, I typically will chunk it. So I try to shallow out the angle attack by getting a little bit more into out and then kind of hit that little hook spin shot and then let it roll out. So I hit that shot decent, but it just didn't quite roll out as much as I thought it was going to. So I left myself right around eight feet up the hill. So I'm playing with my buddy Tim, by the way. Uh, he's We're actually creating a program together. It's called Fairways to Recovery. He's a wounded veteran, so we're gonna kinda do some camps trying to help them out with their golf games, try to get some clubs and everything like that. So I'll keep you guys posted on all that. But back to golf. So I got an uphill. Um, I thought it was, I played this kind of middle and I pulled it just a touch and then missed a low side. So that was definitely kind of a misread, poor alignment, a little bit of a poor stroke, something I'm aware of and I'm definitely gonna keep note and when I do my practice here, whenever I get to practice, unfortunately I'm a little busy here running a business. But anyways, we're on hole number two. It's a 587 yard par four. Again, wins into from the right. Uh, it does narrow down in the fairway when you if you hit a driver, right around like 290 yards, about 340 is kind of narrow. But again, if I hit a good drive on this hole, I can actually get there in two because it is a it's pretty severely downhill. Even though it's into the wind, it's not playing as long as 587. So I'm trying to rip one. Um, I'm starting this one a little bit more right just because of the last one. Um, there is OB left, so if I'm going to miss this, I'm going to miss it a touch right. So I'm aiming down kind of the right center fairway and just trying to hit another, another one of those kind of more of a straight ball-ish. So starting line was really good on that one. Uh, the wind was just, it, it was stronger than I thought. So I ended up overdrawing it just a touch. I believe I landed in the fairway, but kind of bounced off a little bit to the left. So you're going to see where it kind of ended up here in a sec. Then we got Tim over there again. So anyways, I'm in the bunker right here. Um, I have around, I'm not quite sure how far I have into the hole from this position. I just know that there's a bunker out there that I want to kind of fly right around 160 to fly into the wind. So I'm hitting a six iron here, hoping to get myself somewhere within 100 yards, get myself a nice little easy pitch shot. So this was another one where I started up the middle of the fairway and the wind just took it again. So I, I'm definitely underplaying the wind so far. So now I got a pretty severely uphill lie or uphill and ball above my feet. So this ball is gonna go left as well. The wind's kinda of into. Now it's not blowing as far left as the other angle just because I missed it a little bit more left. It's more so into. So I'm not going to aim this one as far right as I would have if I was coming in from the other angle. So anyways, all I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to leave myself anywhere right of this pin, give myself an uphill putt, somewhere within 20 feet would be a good shot. And I hit a pretty good one there too. So I ended up, um, I hit that one I believe kind of like 18 feet right, so I was kind of within my margin, everything was good there. Birdie putt on, uh, anytime you have a birdie putt on the second hole, it's, it's okay. Now I have birdie this hole a decent amount lately just because it hasn't been as windy. I've been hitting driver good and been able to get up pretty much green side in two. But anyways, um, we got an uphill putt. Uh, I believe I played this one. I played a right edge and another kind of little misread. So there is a slope to the left of the green here, but there is kind of a tiny ridge kind of by the hole as well. So I wasn't quite sure how much this one was going to break. So when I line this up, let's see what we do here. So I'm lining this one up pretty much in the middle. Now, if you guys probably have noticed by now, I like to have a little bit of an open stance when I'm putting. And I started that one maybe a little right of where I wanted to start it, and it kind of wobbled off to the right, so definitely a mystery. But watch this next putt, guys. So I play this one middle with speed, luckily, because see how it broke off to the right there? So that's kind of what I was expecting the first putt to kind of do around the hole, but it didn't quite do that. But 
Anyways, walking off a par on the second hole, I believe that's the number one handicap hole on the front side, so never bad to make par on that hole. So anyways, we got a hole number three, 164 yards to the middle. I believe the pin was kind of backish right, if I remember correctly. So now the wind has kind of shifted, so it's downwind from the left, which typically, I, I that's definitely a win I'd rather have than into from the right. Into from the right is definitely a win I struggle with because I do, if I miss, I tend to overdraw the ball lately. It used to be a block, but ever since I've been kind of working on my swing, now it's, if anything, a little bit of an overdraw, which I'm okay with for now. But anyways, I'm aiming this one probably about, maybe about four yards left of the, left of the pin. I'm gonna be hitting like, trying to hit like a nice little baby draw on there. And I just overdid that one. So that was definitely a scared swing. Um, not feeling comfortable so far in the round with my swing. A little background information. Uh, we did kind of rush out to the course. We didn't really get to warm up. I hit a few putts. Uh, There's also a group behind us and a group in front of us. The group in front of us was playing slow and the group behind us was a twosome. And then we were a twosome. And the group behind us didn't want to kind of join up, but they also were on our, basically on our ass the whole round. So it was, um, in terms of filming and setting up the cameras, the it was tough to kind of manage all that together because I this is like my, my I don't know like fourth course vlog that I've done so I'm still trying to get used to kind of playing around a round of golf with people out there as well and trying to manage my time correctly to where I can not slow down pace of play so I'm I'm still getting used to it but I, I'm I'm getting better so I switched I had a gap wedge there at first but I switched to a lob wedge just because it was going to be kind of downwind and I kind of figured the first hop was going to be a little firm here. And I pulled that one just a touch, which then kind of took off just a little bit too much backspin for my liking. I rolled out a little bit too far as well. Not like a horrible shot, but definitely, um, I mean, you can't miss that. It's 164 yards. I shouldn't be missing the green from that far away anyways, but it uh, could have been a little bit better there. Didn't it stop? All right, cool. So anyways, uh, I got about, let's say right around like 12 feet um, right to left putt. A little bit downhill um, there's a little ridge off the right of the green nothing too much to the left so this is a pretty easy one to read here I'm probably gonna play this we'll see what I do but I, I believe I play this right edge now putting was the only thing I got to work on today so my speed was good pretty much throughout the whole day now I did um, my stroke was a little bit off here and you'll kind of see what I mean so I pulled that one just a touch I, I tend to get my when I putt my stroke gets a little in to out, which then has the potential of kind of getting a little bit too, uh, my face can get a little bit too far open or a little bit too far close to that path, and then I start messing around. I try to make my putt there for my butt, for Tim. But anyways, I uh, made a bogey, so now I'm two over after three. Not the best start now, albeit the wind is blowing like 25, 30 mile per hour gust, not a lot of warm up. What's up, Tim? All the other factors factored in. I'm, not, I'm really not too mad with kind of that start. It was kind of typical. It's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Whenever I don't warm up, I usually get off to a slow start. But anyways, we got a, pretty much this is the last challenging hole, I would say, on this side. So it's hole number four. Uh, this is actually the last hole of this part two. We'll have a part two um, coming up maybe in a few days. It's a 387 yard par four, um, pretty much downwind now. So I, I'm trying to actually give this one a rip and try to hit it almost green side because the fairways do roll out quite a bit at Arrowwood, so if I get a really, if I hit a really nice little uh, tight draw and get the right correct uh, spin, I can get this ball rolling and I can get up there pretty close to the green. So I bombed that one right on my starting line, nice little tight draw. One of the better drives of the day for sure, so I was really happy with that. So as we kind of walk oh, yeah, up towards the green, we're going to see that I'm right around probably about 10 yards short of the front edge and then probably about 30 yards short of this pin, so do the math, I hit that one pretty good. Uh, so I hit, uh, let's see, so I'm trying to, this one's kind of a tricky one, because it is a tight lie, and I don't practice the um, kind of higher flopper, like not really flop shots, but a higher kind of shot off of tight lies that much anymore. So I'm just going with what I know what to do, which is kind of a good tip for you guys too as well. I'm taking a lob wedge, I'm gonna hit my, just like I said on the first hole, kind of like a little in to out, shallow, kind of hook spinning shot, and try to land it into the, to the bank, which I did pretty well of. I, I didn't hook it quite as much and I hit a little higher than I wanted to, so it didn't quite hop forward the way I wanted to as well. But I left myself an uphill birdie putt, which for a front pin, that's a good shot, pretty much, because you don't want to hit it past this pin because then you got to be defensive with your next putt. So I was pretty happy. Uphill, uh, right to left putt. We're going to see me walk up real quick. <laughs> 
So this green is pretty tricky. Like I said, if you hit it past this pin, the front part of the green for some reason is one of the fastest parts of Arrowwood on this hole particularly. And I've had many a putts where you just nudge it and it rolls out like five feet past. And no other green on the course will really do that unless you have a severe downslope, obviously. But this is kind of a flattish portion, so you gotta be careful. So I was really happy with that pitch shot is all I'm trying to really say. So I'm aiming this one. It looks like I'm aiming at right edge. I'm just trying to hit holing speed here. And another putt, it was just kind of, I started that one online, speed was just bad there. That was that was kind of a defensive putt there, but uh, walked off of the par, nothing too serious there. And then I look forward to the next course vlog coming soon.